It's it's much more massive than I was expecting, which just feels good. It feels good to get a better deal than expected. Nine and eight, and this is times two. Another small pair of runners being used up. I think most of these nub marks will be hidden by other things, but I want to make sure they don't impact other parts. Speaking of, it's a little, little bit hanging down here. Is the front going or the back? It's hard to tell. I guess it's got to be this. Is that right? I don't think that I don't think that feels right to me. That's right. That's right. so easily that doesn't feel good it's like it's there's like a spring action there that I don't believe it I don't believe it 
How's it going, 555J? Five, 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 they were 24th scale Zoids for one year in 1988. Huge. To figure out what's going on down here because it's it's just not making sense to me. Oh, I see it. It has to go inside there. It's gonna get captured. Yeah, that's that's the trick. Much better. Okay, got it. Repeat that. It's this tab right here goes in the center slot, which is captured. Like that. I was, I was choosing between front and rear. Okay, that's more like it. Last two pieces from the B tree. Good. This is where these, well, not entirely. The feet and ankles are done identically. It's only a little bit of a divergence between how these are built.
cards on the E. Oh, is that it? Yes, it is. Ah, just one after another. Being cleared. It is creaky, yeah. It's kind of harder, less self-lubricating than the stuff that Bandai uses. It's probably made the, the sound is probably made a little bit worse by the the leftover wash that I put on. But even without it, I think I think the wash might actually help a little bit. Help to create some powder lubrication. Wolf hybrid, hello. Glue and tape is sticky on the 3D printed handle. I'm trying to assemble for your show. Glue and tape both? Is the glue not dried? And is the is the tape leaving uh, leaving adhesive behind when you pull it off? Funny that each leg gets what I'm assuming are mortars. It could be smoke launchers, though. Pretty big. And I'll print it in two parts. Second part finished. Glue the two halves together using a rubbery tape to wrap the handle for a rubberized grip. And to help hold them together while the while the glue was was curing, right? What type, may I ask, what type of glue you use? It sounds to me like the glue interacted with the tape and helped to kind of soften it or partially melt it. Interaction between those two. Gorilla. Uh, Gorilla has a, a lot of different types of glue that they make. They have a water activated polyurethane. They have cyanoacrylate. Makes a big difference. What color, what color is it? What color is the, is the, is the glue itself? This may be the answer. Is it brown or clear? You said it's a tube. Clear grip. Clear grip contact adhesive. Usually those those you let 
usually contact adhesive you apply to both surfaces and then you wait wait for it to dry first did you wait for it to dry first not recommended for polypropylene polyethylene or polystyrene Yeah, with those, with those, you're you're supposed to put a, f a full, thin, very thin coat on both surfaces that are going to be attached, and then let them dry. It only takes a few minutes, or tack up, you know, get tacky. It only takes a few minutes, and then bring them together, and then put it in a a gentle vise or some kind of wrap, and it takes. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. You wrap the tape around, but did you wait for the glue to dry on each piece before putting it together? Okay. Eight. This guy. Supposed to be a thing? Yes. Contact, contact cement. No matter, no matter what the, uh, no matter what the brand contact cement is intended to be dried first or to allow, you have to allow it to tack up, whether it's the rubbery kind or whether it's the foam specific, you got to let it get tacky where it's not a liquid anymore. And just a very, 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 very thin, both surfaces, and then you connect it. You connect glue to glue. And then it takes, uh, I, I looked up the, uh, the specific one that you have, that Gorilla Clear contact cement. It says it takes it 24 hours to fully set. Different ones, some of them don't take that long, but that one in particular says that, yeah. If it's still sticky, you might still be able to take them apart. And if the if the the uh, if the tape is sticky as well, it probably means there's a solvent that is evaporating from the contact cement that is dissolving the adhesive in the rubber tape. You could take all of that, most likely take all of that off. If you have any rubbing alcohol, just isopropyl alcohol you should be able to get it cleaned up at least around the, the outside, maybe not the surfaces that, you know, the mating surfaces, but the outside, get it cleaned up and then just use a, a, a quick glue and tape or a sticky. Not that they're sticky after putting. Okay. Okay. So it's, so it's, so it's all good. I thought you were saying it's like a sticky mess afterwards. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I hate I hate sticky messes from weird solvent plastic rubber interactions. <laughs> it's all good. M's just about, just about done. Top 22%, how are you doing? And thank you. You're too kind. Line of clamps, yep, mm-hmm. Tape the part that you hold, yep. Clamps on the handle, use the clamp on the middle. Gotcha, gotcha. In the future, if you can, try to use painter's tape or masking tape for your, for your temporary hold, as opposed to, it sounds like you used electrical tape, the rubbery stuff. tends to be more suited to disposal afterwards. And then go ahead 
for your for your grip then once everything is dry then wrap up your handle however you want you know with the the actual the actual grip tape for grip or whatever you're going to use for grip if you if you're going to these will each get just the little guys You're good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm doing pretty well today. So impossibly sleep deprived, but and overwhelmed by the constant stream, nonstop of Lego new set releases. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars being worth of sets being unveiled every single day right now. The first world problem. <laughs> That's my it true, true. It's literally been 60 to 70 sets that I've done thoughts videos about in the past week. I am so overwhelmed that there isn't anything in particular that stands out for me that's kind of stuck with me that, ah, yes, I'm looking forward to that one. It's just, it's just been too many, I'm afraid. Sorry to, sorry to not have a, an answer. City, the city line in general is what I look forward to the most. I'm trying to remember. Oh, the excavator, the excavator. That one's really good. The city excavator. There's a technical one as well, but the city one looks like the best excavator they've ever done by far. The Star Wars ones look pretty good too. They like miniature dioramas, but with minifigs and way, way cheaper than the actual diorama sets from uh, Mandalorian. But if I had to pick one, it would be, for me, it would be Excavator. Set it for the harbor. There's a crane. Yeah, there's a huge oversized XXL crane that they're doing. Friend basically buying your printer, winning filament from giveaways, dad preferring to lose the tape after each use, buying more. Gotcha. 20 plus. Yeah, that, that definitely. Pick up, pick up waste and use it. Especially stuff that's in perfectly good condition. City and Dreams. Yeah, some more affordable Star Wars stuff is good. It's kind of it's still it's still kind of all over the place. There's there's some overpriced stuff still, plenty of it, and there's some high priced stuff that kind of feels worth it. But you gotta keep that gotta keep that core served, that core of of kids and, and folks who don't have huge, huge budgets to work off of. The castle bread and breakfast looks excellent. It 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 almost doesn't look like Lego.
might sound weird, but sometimes those of us who work seven days a week and don't have any time for breaks and are constantly stressed out are jealous of folks who are able to live without those stresses quite so much. It can be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit closer to the land, a little bit closer to real tangible life. Grass is always greener on the other side of the road. But is it though? Uh, I want to do more out there, Star Wars. New Z. That's true. They haven't done a Z98 in a or 95 in a while, huh? Careful what you ask for. They'll do out. I mean, they are doing out there stuff, right? They're doing the the Darth Jar Jar Black Millennium Falcon, that whole series. But careful what you ask for, because they might do out there stuff that is out there in price. I think they'll make their first high-rise building. Uh, for city, it doesn't really look like they're going that direction. Although I'm completely shocked that they are doing the, the huge crane again. Seems completely, seems like it's from a completely different era. I wouldn't rule anything out, but Daily Bugle is, and, and things like that in a, in a license line are the most likely to be continued, you know, we can do a Daily Planet, um, Luther Corp Tower, stuff like that. How big do I think? I have no idea, top 20%. I don't follow leaks and rumors. I don't know if, if there's any actual information out there about it. I will wait for the actual reveal. I have no idea. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be undersized compared to the regular play scale, I, I would assume it would be sized down from play scale the way that the new Star Destroyer is. Minifig compatible, but just really shrunk. Smaller than the T6 shuttle overall. A bed frame, two drawers and bookshelf, set of bunk beds, brand new, unopened three drawer, Stand unassembled on the side of the driveway. Heck yeah. <laughs> that counts as a win. However, however you want to categorize it, that is a, that's a big win. Oscorp hasn't been done. Forest Police was only 10 years ago, Lurking Zoid. What are you talking about? This is two of the, oh, it's eyes, not J's, eyes. Smaller isn't always bad, because some stuff is oversized, you know? The problem is when they make stuff smaller and more expensive at the same time. That's not fun. Like the Star Destroyer. Making it smaller so that you can pay less and still have something. But then they're charging you more. J, J, uh oh. My. 
Ah, you're there. I'm running out of these, these polycap pieces, the bushings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Small and more expensive. Yeah. Because for a short while they were doing smaller and cheaper, which was great. Like that last play scale X Wing. Smaller and cheaper. Still perfectly fine, though. Good. Still a good toy and looks good on display. Mid the MIDI scales. What the heck? MIDI scales at $80 for a MIDI scale anything. What? How? How? How does that make any kind of sense? <laughs> Micro scale dioramas, $80, $90. Nitpick with the way the nose is built. Fair. This is like lower leg here. Lower leg and ankle, I guess. Maybe more ankle. Times two. Polycap C. legs on then this build will be functionally complete it just needs last details which again I'll do offline Is. 
one is so the first step is here. No, that can't be right. It is though. It's just it, what? When you push this through, it's pushing out the back. That means there de there's definitely going to be a large plate on the back of this. Why is it not here now, though? This looks like the picture. That's so strange. Why would it not be captured the opposite way? This pushes the bushing out as you assemble it. That's weird. All pushes everything pushes itself apart. Weird. Okay. Sides of the feet. Sides of the arches. And then only a few parts remain on each of these H sprues. Looks like two parts remain on the K's. The largest bulk of pieces in the whole kit. Go ahead and grab this now. There's another polycap. Ah, okay, so these two will be cleared now. Got a growing pile back there of discarded sprues. Back, facing up. It's kind of loose too. Two. <laughs> They've got, I'm looking at the instructions. They've got numbers just all over the place. Number two, then you do this, and then, well, there's this other thing, but actually, and <laughs> they're all crossing. Number three, they want the other side. Yeah. Oh, 
he can have a whole family, an extended family. Only you knew how many boxes full of sprues I had. And I'm not even carefully keeping all of them anymore. Going to have to start discarding them soon. Run out of space. So that just lifted. This is actually going to make it easier to get this in, too, because... Engineering on these feet is not good, honestly. It's just not good. I don't even understand why they chose to do most of this. That's bizarre. There it is. Yes. Whew, okay, repeat that, and then I will have legs. Put some small details on it, attach it to the body. Call it a zoid. Let's start on the other side for some reason.
learn from the first one. Tricks are sticking something all in there and hitting a couple of specific tabs that didn't want to line up. And just forcing them. <laughs> Bending them to my will. Hey, Riskiva, how are you doing? Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Symph Symphony of... There it goes. That last one was the one. <laughs> the last creek was the one to make it make it all good. <laughs> now I'll throw a bunch of these on. Five each. Five per leg. Make the music with your sprue biz. Should angle down slightly. That's perfect. Same thing for here, and then these will get attached. Finally. Five, uh, four, I need four. Surprise the tail only gets a pair. Hey, more and more. What the heck? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? This is a raid alert. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Hope things went well for you today. Smorph, welcome. You're gonna get to see me put the legs on on the Zoid. It puts the leg on the Zoid.
Come right up to the right up to the end. You were work. You were doing some Lego your today. Hand. Again? Yeah. Or was it a gaming day? Dino, yeah, Dino, Dino, Rhino, Styracosaurus, I believe. More Lego, right on. Hope your stream went well. Uh, thank you, Chief, for getting the shout outs to more and more. Or some chill. Building, gaming, talking. Just finished a Styracosaurus art piece, right on. A uh, 3D or 3D or 2D? I think, I think this is it. I think I'm ready to 2D. Yes, that's it. Those go on. I'm not going to be doing the guns. The rest of the guns tonight. Well, on stream at least. This will be done offline. But I can at least get this very important step. Hopefully that's not completely loose. No, it's, it's okay. Uh -huh. I'm still having trouble with the the shoes this guy's wearing. Very, it's very much a what are those situation. And there it is. Dino Mech. Dino might dino mech. And after this come many guns. It has a bunch on it already, but there will be more. Big ones. Big turrets. Front. Back. It's already got them on the sides. Front, back, side to side. <laughs> I'm so happy it's larger than I expected. Thank goodness. It's not look it's not looking too bad. Could use a little a little more and will probably use a little more uh wash or dirtying around the the silver, but all in all. Can't be too mad at it. I'll need to carefully mask off the canopies before giving it a top coat. I guess I don't know, I guess the shine on the shine on the metal isn't bad. Part of me wishes that I had done uh matte top coating on just the black parts on the sprue. Also, I definitely should have done it on the the interior green. The lighter green. It's gonna dumb that down a little bit, dull it down. I just realized there's a there's a split. There's a failed. Is that the way it's supposed to be? No, this thing is this thing is broken. <laughs> oh gee, this is gorgeous. So what the heck? Yeah. This is there's a whole failed. My nice brand new sweatshirt has a whole failed seam on it. Silver! How's it going? Thank you for continuing your subscription for oh, no. 13 months. That is a full year. You started your 13th month. That is a full year. Why would you do that? Why are you so kind? I still owe you something. I'm behind on all yeah. everything. Yeah. I've, I've been okay. I've been better, but I've been okay. It's been it's been a year, man. It has been a year.
year so far. That's rough. But I'm taking it, taking it one day at a time, the best of my ability. Apologies for the uh, slowness on the response to the thing, man. It's been a year for a lot of people. <sighs> yes, yeah, seriously. But again, thank you. This thing has some width to it too. It's got some hips. Looks good. Well, hate to be raided and run. Oh, for anybody who's still here, I wanted, I wanted to show this off. It will go perfect. Uh, lots of guns. A skittle. Oh my god. Less but bigger. Well, it, it there are bigger guns that are that are yet to come, it, but it is a Zoid, so it has all the guns. There are there are more. <laughs> uh, check out my retro radio. I got it from Lego. It's a hundred dollars. <laughs> it's so retro. Wow, it's so retro. Wow. Yeah, it's from it's from Lego. It it does it Ooh. plays thirteen sounds. Half of them are half of them sound almost it's identical. Good. Plays thirteen sounds at random. You can either make this go back and forth or play those thirteen sounds in a row. Wait, my bad. No, not this one. This isn't the Lego one. This is an actual retro radio that works FM, AM, and shortwave. AC or battery comes with the rechargeable battery. Also, Bluetooth speaker, also uh, USB on the back for you to plug in a thumb drive or stick a micro SD card into it. And it costs a third as much. It costs 35. I will upvote that. And it actually, it actually works. My bad, sorry, I was confused there. <laughs> I'll be putting that on. Does not come with vacuum tube, no. Little kids are beautiful, it takes you back to the kits you built as a kid. Yeah, I'm so glad that Zoids is, is still going. I'm su I was surprised to see that it was still going, but very glad. Just my third Zoid kit. It's kind of sound like a send kind of, yep. <laughs> Indeed. Well, uh, sorry to, to be raided and run, but it is that time for me, the time when I uh, do need to, to move on and get some food, get some, some breakfast, 10 p.m. local time. Get some get some breakfast in there. Then I will finish finish building this uh what? Tonight. Yeah. Oh! Heck yes. I have the perfect ray target too. <laughs> yes, Scottian, yes. Could not possibly be better timing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Line runs deep while it treads shallow. I feel like. Wait, I need to talk to Thanks, Silver. James. I need to talk to you at some point about uh, X Men 97. I know you are the person to talk to. I'm sure you talked about it a ton, but I'm behind. I've just gotten caught up. And it's the first ever, it's the first ever anim animated superheroes show 
that I've watched all the way through. Other than, I guess, Invincible kind of counts. Kind of. It should count, yeah. But only bring it up. You don't. Oh, okay, you don't want to talk spoilers. Gotcha. Gotcha. Fair. But I still, I still owe you that thing. I've not forgotten about it. It's just my cue is, is insane. I do sincerely apologize for my tardiness. Folks, appreciate your support. Appreciate you being here. Hope that you've enjoyed your stay. I do need to go. If you hear somebody is raiding out and you like what they do, do them a favor and stick around for just a minute. It helps a lot if you stick around for a raid. Raid with strength, raid with unity. If you don't, it hurts. It hurts their channel. Jeez, okay, I appreciate it again. Uh, Kigo, what the son of a... Kigo! Thank you, thank you, Jay. Oh, Kiko. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's huge whoa, cheer. Whoa, My gosh, whoa, man. Jeez. Everybody, take care. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. Thank you for be being good to me and be good to Akai uh, Tsubaka, who we've raided into before. But today is building a Zoid, which is perfect. Could not possibly be better timing. So we're going Zoid to Zoid. Is that one, is that one gonna not play now? Is it because I started the raid? Thank you for sticking around for the raid. I do very much appreciate that. Very, very much. It, I don't know if it, I don't know if it got stuck because I already hit the raid thing. I gotta run. I'm gonna try to get it to play it again. But if it doesn't do it, Patrick is borked. I can't read the rest because the raid thing is on the screen. I, I literally can't read the rest. I'm sorry. You catch me at the end. You know this. I will try to fix it. I will try to make up for it the next time. Remind me. I'm sorry that did not play. I will try to make up. I, I've, I'm over here trying to get it to replay and it won't. Uh, so it, oh, yeah. Let me know next time. Remind me next time. I'll, I'll hit it up. I'll get you, get you back. Take care, everybody. Gotta run. See you soon. I'll be back tomorrow with some, some Lego building. Hopefully. Custom. Thank stuff. you so much, Shane. Take care.